What are the energies coming towards Pisces during Mercury and retrograde? What are the Pisces wish, uh, future? What is coming towards them during Mercury and retrograde? Also remember that Venus is almost coming out of uh, Pisces. It's coming to the 29th critical degree, so get out there, mingle, and do your best to get your uh, blessings out there. You got the Empress reverse, so it's telling me you better get out there and get that thing. Mercury and retrograde, the energy is coming towards you. So we're going to find out what is going on here. And remember, those energies could be actually you doing this during Mercury and retrograde. So we're going to find out. Now you got the interference card. I'm going to go ahead and push these over where everybody can see them get rid of my phone here. One thing about this camera, I want you to see the cards. Seeing is believing to me. I don't care what a person like looks like. I want to know what the cards say. So we got in the past, or really this is energy coming in, but it could be a past energy and it has to be because you're, you may be coming, feeling trapped. Maybe you had a lot of stagnation and you felt like you couldn't get out of something. And apparently slowly you're coming out of that. And the energies are coming in that are maybe allowing you to do that. Let's find out. So we got the Eight of Swords reverse. That's I'd rather have it reverse than upright, to be honest with you. Because when it's in the upright, you feel trapped, even though and you, you feel like you can't get out of something. Even though you may be able can. You just can't see how to get out of it. It's there. But it's reverse, so it looks like you may be able to find your way out. Why is the Eight of uh, Swords reversed for uh, Pisces? Why is the Eight of Swords reversed for Pisces? The energy's coming in. Someone's going to help you feel untrapped. Maybe you get a message or something that maybe coming out of troubled waters. Maybe you don't feel like you have to go away or take a uh, stance in uh, leaving going away from somewhere, maybe a relationship, could be a job, could be anything. But you're no longer feeling trapped like you have to go away. Like you feel like you feel like your troubles are, are over maybe or coming that way, some of you. Some something may come your way that may help you out. Let me know in the comments if something came your way. Or at least during this time of Mercury and retrograde. Coming out of tournament mode. Well, I want to know what the Knight of Cups is. And that could be an obstacle because it is in an obstacle position. So you may have some, it could be a water energy or it could be your energy feeling turned around and not exactly sound emotionally. You may be feeling a little distraught, maybe even a little depressed sometimes. But that is an obstacle and it's energy coming your way. And it could be that another uh, water sign. You know, that's Pisces, as you know, and that's Scorpio and Cancer. Or it could be just someone that's feeling real emotional right now, and they may come upon you with some news, and they may want you to give them an ear and talk to them. Or you may just be wanting to do this to another person. And remember, I, I told you, it's Mercury in retrograde, so communications are going to be off. And that could very well turn this night, like like I said, upside down. So what's going on with the Knight of Cups? Why is the Knight of Cups upside down? Page of Swords. Could be because, yeah, it's it's communication. The Page of Swords is communication, and it's reversed. So you may miss uh, have a miscommunication with somebody. You may not get the communication, and it may get you worried. But look for, if you're having a miscommunication, a lot of times during this, like during Mercury or retrograde, it could be that it went to your, you know, answering machine or, you know, your voicemail or it went to a different box, you know, a message did in, in on Facebook. You know how sometimes they put it, you know, in a different inbox and you may have missed it. 
So look for a missed message that may be coming in with a lot of you. Make sure you listen to the voicemails. Maybe you didn't hear the phone ring. Or maybe make sure that um, all your plans and arrangements that you have with somebody is up on the up and up because it, you may miss out on some kind of communication. Now, they have, could have a lot to do with work. You've got the Eight of Pentacles here, which is someone working away, and that's the current environment. So this is going to have a lot to do with your work environment. Oops. Yeah, you may not make some right judgments, so be careful of that. And that's, again, with communications. Make sure, you know, you got all your, you know, ducks in the row. Make sure all, every, um, you know, uh, I is dotted and a T is crossed because that also has a lot to do with communication. So watch your work stuff. Watch your work situation that there are no mistakes coming in for Pisces. Now, as an outside energy, this is, again, this is like the Four of Cups, and this is like someone offering you a cup, and you may not accept it, or you may, you know, drop it altogether. You may not accept a good thing coming in. You may miss an opportunity. Again, watch your communications, because that's an outside environment. Someone trying to offer you something, you may haphazardly, you know, not take up the offer because of everything that's going on, Mercury and retrograde, the way it does people. So why is the Four of Cups there as the outside environment? Someone trying to offer something. Why is that there? Yeah, if you if someone may be trying to contact you, because these are, like I said, outside energies, and sometimes they get mixed up, but someone may contact you with a tower situation. They're going to want to tell you something that maybe something went down. And you may not be able to, you may not hear about it. You may choose not to hear about it. But this energy is coming in. It's the outside someone coming in to tell you something, and you may miss it. It may be something serious. So make sure, like I said, that, that communication is open. Make sure. And you got the um, Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So it definitely has to do with finances also. Make sure. Um, you know, like I said, don't miss out on an opportunity because it could affect your finances and you may lose out on something. Maybe this is like a tax situation. Everybody's filing taxes and uh, getting stuff done and you may miss out or maybe because you, you didn't sign a piece of paper and you they said, I'm sorry, but you got to wait six more months. So watch every little thing you do during this time. It's a hard time when taxes are due to our Mercury and retrograde and anything else. If you're getting your car inspected, all those things, get them checked out. Yeah, because it's going to leave you kind of like not feeling real loving and towards other people around you too. So it may affect your, your partner also. You know, this has a lot to do with finances, working hard, miscommunications with loved ones, possibly family members, people you work with. So if you keep your, you know, everything situated, you keep an eye on this, you got an edge here because you're, you're hearing this, that this could occur. Now I want one more card for the final card, the game card, which is reversed. So if you're not watching, it very well affect your uh, finances. And I'm telling you right now, you can change a lot of this. You will not be able to change this uh, tower card because it is a major arcana. But you can uh, maybe soften the blow in your own life with your finances and everything else and your families because it's affecting your lover situation also. I don't see any breakups or anything. I just see a lot of miscommunication, and it's big. So one more card, gain card. Why are you reversed for Pisces? Yep, it has to do with finances. Make sure... You get all your communications correct, and you should be okay that day, or that during this Mercury in retrograde. And the outcome is uh, no more stagnation. You're going to be moving. That's Mercury in retrograde. Move, move, move in a chaotic situation. But if you watch your 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 finances, like I said, if you watch your phone calls coming in, you watch the letters that are coming in. Don't just you know throw them on a table <clears throat> table and forget about them. And you'll be okay, okay? So I keep on saying okay, but you will be. Talk to you later. Bye.